What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over Street Parade. This is a problem on Spaj. So basically, you have some organizers, they want to have a fixed order of trucks. You want to bring the trucks in the correct number of order. So the increasing order, basically. So the trucks is narrow, so no two trucks can pass each other. You are given the order in which the trucks arrives. You need to decide if the mobiles can be brought into order that the organizer. Basically, this is an illustration. So let's say we have the truck three, four, two, one, five. So if I want to bring this into order, there's like a hole here. What I could do is I could just put the five into this hole and then I let one pass and I let two pass, All right? So I want one, two pass. Instead of adding, adding five after four, instead of doing that, I want to have the next truck pass me also, right? So I want to have one, two, three, I want three, right? So what they do also is that they put four into the hole. So then they have one, two, and then three. So one, two, and three now pass, and then now they could put four and five. So basically we have like a hole that, or a street that we could basically hold the values in, and we want to make all these values be put in the same order that they want them to be. So we want them to have one, two, three, four, and five. So that's basically what we want. Do this problem, you have to think of think of this hole or this road as a stack. So every time you encounter value that is just not in the right order, that is like greater than the previous value, you push that onto the stack. So this would have a five, as you see here, one, two, three, four, five, right? So in this case, five was out of order. So that's why they put five into this hole. And then they let the other ones pass. So they let the other ones pass, so one, two. Now four is also out of the order, right? Because four is greater than three. So they put four into the stack also. And then they let three pass. Now, um, essentially is, is that after they let three pass, when it's over, they just put four and five to see if uh, it's in the right order. And that's what you get. Okay, so the thing is that if you have a value that is greater than the current value that you want, that's in the stack, then it's definitely not possible. Like if I had one, two, in this case, if I had one, two, three, four, right? There's, there's five here, right? And there's four here. Um, let's say this four was not here. Let's say this four was like a six or something. Then we know it's not possible, right? Because if I take the 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 six, if this four was a six, right? I have one, two, three. The next value has to be the value after three. So the next value has to be four, right? So basically, whenever we pop something off of the stack, we have to check if it's actually equal to the next value that is in line. So what we need is we need a counter to showcase the next value that we want to be put in order right we want to all these trucks to be put in order from one two three four five six so if we have a counter that keeps track of the next number of the truck that we need then we could actually keep track of it and then that would actually help us make sure to check if it's possible or not possible so i'm going to actually just explain the code to you guys right now because it's actually not that difficult to understand okay so remember we need a counter in order to count the current the next truck that we want right so one two three four five six and um, not only that, uh, also the input statements here, they said that uh, the input statement ends with a number zero. So it's not the same thing as like input number test cases like on code forces, and then you just do while minus minus. So what, what uh, you have to do is you have to either use a while loop and then break in the middle, or you can use a do while loop, and that's what I did. So first of all, I do use the do while loop to basically just uh, do this while this condition is occurring. So it does it at least once. And then um, while n is not equal to zero. So the n is the first value that you input, uh, input uh, which is input with a number zero or not. So if that part is inputted, right? If it's zero, then we just stop the, the whole program, right? So that's why I said do while n is not equal to zero. And it has to run once, so that's why you need to do while loop. So that's what I did. Um, then I read in the value of n. And then um, what I do is I, once I read in the value of n, I create my array. I call it e for the array, but uh, I don't know. You can name it whatever you want. Then I loop through all the values of n from one to n to read in the array. So read in my array, right? The list of numbers that we have, five, one, four, two, four, three, right? So that's what I do here. So remember, we, we wanna check if we could actually put this in order using uh using the hole that we're given, right? So yeah. All right, so let's think of the hole as a stack. So this, I create the stack and I call it ST. And the reason why I call it ST is because, I don't know, it's just good, it's a name for a stack. So ST is just like our stack. And that's kind of like the hole that we need that in this case of this hole that, that is put into this case. So um, here, int need equals to one. This is the counter, 
right the number that we uh currently need that which is like the next the next uh the next truck number that we need so remember we want to be able to order this these trucks three four two one five into order of one two three four five right Us using only given this hole so that's why we need to we use the we need an, a counter to keep track of the next number of the truck that we need so we need to have once we have one we need two then we need three and then need four then need five okay okay so that's what i do here and then i need a i have a boolean pos which stands if it's possible or not so if it's in they what they want us to do is if, if it's possible to order them in one two three four five six right then we print out yes in this case the output yes otherwise we print out no so that's why i have a boolean for possible okay so at this point what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, loop through all the values of the truck truck numbers again it's going to loop through from zero to n, n right uh this is the index so i'm going to go through all the truck numbers which is five one two four three right now after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to check while my stack which is kind of like my, like my hole is not empty okay if it's not empty i'm going to check if the top part is actually equal to the next truck that we need because if that's the case then we could just remove the top part and add the uh, the truck right um so yeah because like in like in this scenario one two three four five right after three is gone right three is gone um if our top part of our our stack four this top part of this uh, truck is four right this if this is equal to the next number that we need which in this case after one two and three is over right um, four is the next number. So what we what you would do is you would keep popping off of the stack. So you remove four and remove four, and then increment the next truck that we need, which is going to be four plus one, which is going to give us five. So that's going to be the next number that you need, and then you could pop that off also. So this is basically just this while loop is basically just every time there's a it's not empty and the top part is actually equal to the next truck that we need the top truck of our is equal to the next truck that we need we're just going to keep adding one uh, we're going to we're, ba uh, we're basically just going to add one to the counter of our truck and then we're going to remove the first value off of our stack so in this case first value off of our stack it would remove uh four right so we have one two three so four is equal this the first part of the top value of our stack of four is equal to the next number after three so it's gonna increase three plus one which gets us four or um no yeah yeah uh actually yeah no no um so the the top value of our stack is four right and then um that is actually e equal to the next number that we need so one two three next number that we need is four right so what, what it's going to do is it gonna it's going to pop four off of the stack and then add one to the next number. So the next number is five. It's now going to be five because then we add four into the line that of trucks that are there. And then we have five. And then we pop five off of the stack of this also, right? Because this is, this is not empty. So we're going to pop that off. And five is also equal to the next number because the next number after four is five. So that's why we're going to keep popping off of the stack for that case. So that's what this loop is doing. Okay. All right. Now, if the first, uh, if now if going through the, going through the array now, um, if the value that we're currently at in going through our array is actually equal to the next number that we need, then all we just have to do is increment the next number that we need. So, like in this case, if it's, um, let's say we have one, two, uh, in, uh, in this in this example, like one, right? One is there. Uh, the next number that we need is one, so it's gonna just move the the truck to the right side so it's going to add one to the counter of one so it'll get to two and then two is gonna two is equal to the next number that we need right so then when it's just going to add one two which gets us three so that's what this part is doing okay all right now here's a bit tricky part um if it's not empty and the top part is less than the current value of the what we're going through then it's not possible and I'll, I'll i'll explain why so like let's say we had um one two three um yeah instead of so we have one two three right 
and instead of this four, this, this was a zero. So let's say this four was a zero. Then we know it's not possible to reorder it because the top part of our stack is zero and this is less than the next number that we need. Next number that we need is four, right? So if this four was a zero, so if this four is a zero, next number that we need is four. So that's no matter what, it's not possible. So here I'll, I'll, I'll draw it out again. So let, let's say I have one, two, three, and this, let's say this is our stack. And then instead of four, we have zero and then we have five, right? So the trucks are going to the right. And um, the next number after three is supposed to be four. If I know this number zero, the top part of our stack, right? This zero is less than four, no matter how, what I do, right? If I, if I were to remove the top part of the stack and let it keep going. So I remove zero and I have zero here and I remove five and have five here, it's not gonna be in the right order regardless, right? If I just attach it to the end of this, this train, these numbers, it's not gonna be in the right order. And the reason why is because this number is less than the next number that we need of four. So that's why it's just not possible. So at that point, you could just break. So in here, this, it would just not be possible. So then possible, I said to false and I break out of the whole loop. All right, now, otherwise, if these cases aren't, are, are not the case, right? let's say it was greater or something. Um, then we just say, we, we're just gonna push the next value onto, onto our stack, right? So that's that's the case if, um, that's the case when we have, when you have a one, two, so we have one, two, three. Uh, let's say this was in the original case five, right? And this was like, a, let's say there was four here. Right. So what this is going to do, basically this part of pushing to the stack is when all, any of these cases are not true, that means that um, five is going to be greater than one. This five is going to be greater than one. So what it's going to do is going to push five onto the stack of values that we're going to check later. And then um, it's going to move the one to the right. So then this five is gone and it moves one to the right. And the next number we need is two. Right. And then um, since four is greater than two, it's going to push four onto the stack. So then we could check four later to see if, if we could actually do that or not. And then it moves two to the right. So then four is gone and then two go two goes away, right? So now we have three, right? Three is the next number that we need. And three is the right way, right? Three isn't the right number. So then we're done with three. And then um, after one, two, and three are all done, right? Then we add four and five right four and five would be the case so in, in this case it would be possible so the only way if it's not possible is if the top value of our stack is actually less than it okay so yeah that's what i do here that's basically just the code um so remember they say that they wanted to have the case when um when when the, the output is zero right then you have to stop the program so if input ends with zero you have to stop the program so i have to have this if condition, if it's, uh, cause if it's equal to zero, right, then you have to stop program and you can't display anything, right? You can't display yes or no. Right. So what I did was I check if it's not equal to zero, then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if it's possible. Then I'll print yes, otherwise no. And then this just stops it from printing yes or no when it's equal to zero. So that's what this loop does, uh, this if statement does. And then while the while loop is done, it's basically over. Yeah. So that's pretty much the gist of this problem. I hope you guys understood what I was saying. And yeah, rate, comp, subscribe. It's just put, putting stuff onto the stack and checking if it's possible or not possible. And I'll check you guys later. Peace.